Imagine being able to see the components of a potentially dangerous situation in live 3D and with fine detail without even having to send a human in to survey the area. It's possible, and that's one of the reasons why experts from the Air Force Civil Engineers Center are asking industry leaders to showcase the capabilities of LIDAR, mounted on various robotic and small unmanned aerial system platforms. There's a, let's say, an aircraft mishap. Maybe it could be in a place where there's no way a person can go in. You can send uh, either the drone, fly it over, and get some uh, recon information or also you can send a dog and um, see what's on the ground. Maybe there's some uh, hazardous material, maybe some unexploded ordnance that needs to be taken care of without having someone risking their life there. LIDAR is short for light detection and ranging. It's a remote sensing method that uses light in the form of a pulsed laser, a scanner, and a specialized GPS to measure variable distances. When LIDAR is paired with other advanced technologies like small unmanned aerial systems or unmanned ground systems, a robot dog for example, the warfighter can view and create a digital twin model. The higher resolution, the more uh, accurate that our information is on what our systems are in the facility, what the condition looks like on the outside, lets us maintain our, our facilities more appropriately. And, and again, the, the big investment here at Tyndall after Hurricane Michael is, is that we want to make sure that we're spending our dollars appropriately and that we're being able to, to maintain our facilities for the taxpayer. Help each installation have a, a digital twin of their asset infrastructure you know, be it, you know, pipelines, be it utilities, be it, you know, HVAC, be it the, the buildings themselves. The uses for the LIDAR and unmanned systems platforms technology combination in the civil engineer community are almost endless. Something that the RADAS program is really looking for is LIDAR. That's kind of the gold standard because then we can start getting a lot of other information we couldn't get before from just standard pictures. We can calculate how much material we need to repair based on the craters and the fill volumes and all of those things. Here at the dead at Silver Flag, we're in a really unique position uh, with our proximity to AFKEC. We're kind of a test bed for a lot of these new technologies and I feel real fortunate as an instructor that I'm able to get eyes and hands on those.